10 of the warmest, more sensual, very cuddly fragrances I am excited to wear this fall season. Stay tuned after this intro. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. I am already feeling some warmth, some butterflies already coming up my stomach with some temperature rising. Just talking or thinking about these fragrances I'm about to show you. These 10 fragrances I'm about to show you are great for this cuddly season, this fall season that we are approaching and I'm really excited to start wearing these fragrances. Don't get me wrong, these 10 fragrances got some oomph, got some performance, but they're warm and very sensual as well. Let me just start showing you my list that I am excited about. And my number 10 on my list, it's such a beautiful scent. If you love warm, sensual, a little bit sexual sandalwood with some floral nuances on top, very cuddly, very nice scent. I personally adore. This is a great, great unisex scent, in my honest opinion. And I'm talking about Santal Blush by Tom Ford. Don't shy away from this one, guys, because this one, it's gorgeous. If you just love great sandalwood, very warm. There's something about this scent that just resonates with me. It's very woodsy, but very sensual as well. That's how sandalwood is to me personally. The sandalwood note, especially when it has good sandalwood, it just got some butteriness into it. It's just very warm, very sensual. I personally just adore. Please try this one out. I'm just gonna leave links everywhere. So please go check him out and see what resonates with you. I always try to find the best prices online just for you guys, just to save a buck or two. So please check out my today's list and see if anything convenient for you. Next one. Oh my God, another sandalwood. We are talking sandalwood on this video pretty much. And I'm talking about pardon because pardonnez-moi, this is beautiful. This is again very sandalwoody, very uh, chocolatey, very patchouli-ish like, very warm, very sensual. It's got some performance also, so you can just go out and about with this scent, but when you go back home with your significant other, this scent would be already dried down and it's gonna be beautiful. It's just gonna be so, so cuddly, beautiful scent. Try Pardon by Nasomaro out. You wouldn't regret it. One of my favorite personal scent for me personally. Personal scent for me personally. Yeah, it's very personal. Let's just grab another one. Amber. Amber is the note of the warmth. It's the note of the sensuality. It's the note of the cuddly season. I'm talking about fall, okay? Don't get it twisted, bro. Or get it twisted. Who cares? And this house from the house of Armani Privé, Ombre Eccentrico. This is beautiful, guys. If you just wanted something woodsy, something balsamic, sticky, sweet, in a very good, cuddly way, I believe it's got some tobacco in it as well with that amber. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's very much underrated. I personally love it. Ombre Eccentrico by uh, Armani Privé. Beautiful one that you just, you're just gonna have to try out. Get yourself a sample or something, bro. I'm gonna see if they have samples for you guys to try out at a very reasonable price. So I'll see. I don't promise anything. Next one, it's a rock star. Next one is the best of the best, the best in the West or the east or the north or the south pole i don't care this is the best and i'm talking about chargy by serge lutens this is a very old vintage bottle too but any bottle would do pretty much with this juice right here very much tobacco-y with honey very sensual very cuddly let's just call it that way very cuddly okay such a beautiful scent, especially in this fall season. Oh my God. You're just gonna have to get yourself some Shergi, period. This is a must buy this fall season. Let's just grab another one because I already started having some thoughts about Shergi in my mind. This is a cheapie as far as last time I checked. And I'm talking about Boss Silk and Jasmine by Hugo Boss. This is very simple, silky jasmine and honey note. It comes across a little bit medicine-y on top, but when this fragrance dries down, 
especially with that honey note. Honey is a very sensual, warm note. Anything with honey, pretty much. It could be a little bit animalic, but in a very good way, in a very sexy way. Honey, it comes across smelling that way. And silk and jasmine is no slouch. It comes across very sexy, very cuddly. Yeah, it comes across very cuddly, the cuddly type too. Especially when this one dries down, it's, it's a very likable scent. They just have another one that it's very spicy, fiery, fiery, sweet, but gentle, many warm and sensual as well. Another one from the Hugo Boss. And I'm talking about Hugo Boss, the scent elixir. This is beautiful, guys. This one is a must have, one of my favorite elixirs out there. That's a beautiful one. Probably, I'm just not gonna find this one on links. I tried to find it on links before. For some reason, I just can't find it. So if I find it with those links right there, snatch yourself a bottle. It is that good, guys. I kid you not. Let's just have another elixir because we have two elixirs in today's video. And the next elixir is the V elixir. And I'm talking about Victory by uh, Paco Rabanne. This is, again, very dark, sensual scent with a lot of personality. So it's got a lot of oomph. It's got a lot of performance. So if you love incense and lavender, you would just fall in love with this scent. One of my favorite designer, Paco Rabani, period. It's that good, guys. This one has got some great performance, so you can just put on your application. I don't know how many sprays you put on. Then you just go out, have a great night out, and when you come back home, start your cuddly type. That's how it works with this one, because it's just very strong. But it's just great, okay? And if it's cold outside, the colder the better. Another honey-based scent. We have a lot of honey in here. It's very aphrodisiac and even says it on its name. And this is Back to Black by Killian Aphrodisiac. This is very honey and tobacco. Very sensual honey, very warm honey. Very beautiful, honey. It just gives me butterflies in my tummy every time I smell it. I kid you not. A little bit animalic, but in a very good way. Let's just have another one, which is uh, Herod by Parfums de Marley. Another honey and tobacco combo. Honey and tobacco just works great in this fall season, in this cuddly season, in this sensual season. And Herod's such a beautiful one. This one, it's very cuddly. It smells great, it's sweet, it's warm, it's all you're asking for in a fragrance, in a cuddly way. Very likable, it would enhance your physical appearance somehow. Well, not you bro, I doubt it, but you know, you can try. Anyway, you're just gonna have to try some Herod out by Parfums de Marly. Very good, beautiful scent, I kid you not, for this fall season, oh my god. Last but not least, the epitome of uh, sensuality and warmth. And I'm talking about Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Let's just have some truffle with some dark chocolate and some patchouli. That said, that's the remedy for this cuddly season. Beautiful unisex scent that I personally love. Black Orchid, it's a classic by now. If you haven't smelled it yet, you, you should go get yourself a bottle like right now. Beautiful scent, period. That's all I can say about this one. I haven't worn it in the longest time and I'm like really, really craving it right now. So this is pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what is your secret weapon when it comes to the sensuality for this cuddly season. I'm curious. Let me know. Drop some comments down there and, and let me know your options. I would love to steal some of your options because I don't have enough options. It's never enough options for me. Is it enough options for you? I bet it's not. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and click that notification bell right next to it. And see you guys next time. Peace.